Following the match at the Dynamo Stadium between Wolves and Spartak, the Wolverhampton team became the Wanderers in Moscow. And one of their first sightseeing trips took them from the Himka port on the steamer Maxim Gorky along the Volga Canal. In a district which in winter is snowbound and frozen, the English team enjoyed summer sunshine and breezes and the warmth of the hospitality of captain and crew. Billy Wright and his fellow wanderers were taken into the control cabin by the Russian captain. And even if the language difficulties were a handicap, hand signs and enthusiasm overcame them. On the following day, the team continued the tour of Moscow with a visit to the Kremlin itself. Inside those walls is the burial ground of communist leaders, whose names are recorded on plaques. This is the statue of Svetlov, the first president of the USSR. Among other objects of interest is the huge gun with 36-inch bore a gun that has never been fired. And a bell whose interest from the distant historical past is that it was built by Peter the Great. But like the gun, its voice has never been heard. It was dropped and broken before it rang. <laughs> Moscow has many public places of educational interest, a wealth of picture galleries, libraries, and museums. And here it was that Signor Orlandini, the referee of the Spartak match, found the tour too much for his feet. This is the Kremlin Museum. And so the Wolverhampton Wanderers toured around, seeing everything that was to be seen. They can claim the record of being virtually the only invaders of Moscow who haven't had to retreat in a hurry. This unhampered sightseeing tour is hopeful evidence of the new spirit that is showing itself since the conference at Geneva. It is not too optimistic, at least to hope, that someday that iron curtain will be lifted altogether that these pictures by our newsreel cameraman could not only be taken freely, but could be sent out of Russia, is evidence of goodwill. And at least there's one thing the people of Russia have in common with the rest of the world. They don't want to be killed in a war. And here's the team that went as ambassadors to Russia to be welcomed as the Sportsman of Britain.